What's going on guys? This is JT and Jim. We are back. What's up, brother? What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So one thing you will notice, guys, is first, let me get this out of the way. My man Jim right here. Everybody give him a big congratulations. Just oh. two weeks ago, he had his first newborn son. His name is Dylan. Welcome, Dylan, to life. What's up, Dylan? Yes, sir. So that's why we've been a little bit inactive with not only account overviews on his account, but also hero spotlights, which will come in the near future. No worries about that. So, of course, what we're going to do today, one thing you'll notice is my man, Jim, he's like, bro, I'm not staying free to play in this game. Not today. <laughs> I was a dude. He showed up at my house. He's like, JT, bro. I'm addicted. I've been playing. He's like, I got 400,000 gems. You want to roll for the new hero? I'm like, maybe, my friend. But not only that, we got 900,000 might. So I'm just going to let Jim take the phone, show us a little bit of what he's been doing. And by the way, this is the first time I have seen his account since it was 250, or what was it? 270,000 yeah, 270, yeah, 270, might. So huge upgrade. Now he's already, what are you, what's your rank right now? Show the people your let's rank. See, I believe see. he's in like the top. He's in the top 1,000. He's in the top 200 already. Dude, that is insane. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the altar. Let's show everybody what's going on and what all you have been working on. The last time I talked to him, or two times ago, he was spending gems to buy gold to evolve heroes, if I'm not mistaken. Now, do you see that as being a mistake? Yes, yes. <laughs> Bad idea. I'm figuring it out. I've been playing for like a month straight now. So I'm month not... straight. He wakes up every day, plays at least, you know, however long he plays every day, keeps the grind on, and you can tell he's been coming on pretty strong. Yeah. So, I think last time we talked, I had like three heroes that break through level 30. Yes. Now, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21... 22. Okay. So clearly he's not free to play. As far as spending goes, what would you say? Probably around like a thousand bucks, I think that is. Cause yeah, I, at least a thousand. Yeah, at least a thousand because I checked his um, his spending and he spent a total of 600,000 gems. So this is where he's at now. So yeah, this is what all we've got. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the talent you got on these heroes just to uh, show the people what's good. Sacred Light. You definitely don't want Sacred Light on that Minotaur. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I haven't done a great job going through every hero. Okay. I've kind of focused you've on, been focused on what you've been the using. six heroes I use. Oh, okay, well tell but, everybody what you want to tell them. And at the same time, I, I'm I'm always wanting my might to be as high as it can be, and I've got so many level 9 talent runes yeah. that I'm just getting them up yeah. there. Okay, yeah. just leveling up whatever's on the heroes you I don't need you don't to use. save it because I've got I got you, I got you. So there's a lot of heroes where you just have talent to level 9 just because you have so many. It exactly. just doesn't even really matter. Whenever the time comes, you can just replace them. That makes sense. So show them what your top 6 heroes are because actually I'm curious. Alright, so Walla is one of my guys right there. With the show the insignia too. Why not? Sacred Light and we've got Revi okay, okay. Revitalize. Looks very good, sir. Can't go wrong with that. Now, one thing, I don't know if you actually know this about Walla Walla. I want to explain to you now. I know you've seen me say Revitalize is good. But Walla Walla's auto proc. Do you know what auto proc means in this game yet? It means, so auto proc is, what it is, is you can hold the phone. So Revitalize has, it gives you 100% energy at the start of the fight, right? Yeah. So the reason why you use Revitalize on him is the second he enters battle, he sends out a proc right away. Okay. That's what um, auto proc means. Yep. So yeah, so who else are you here? You take the phone back. Who else are you rocking besides So after him it's we got Dove. Yes, definitely Dove. Do you like stealth on Dove? I do. Okay, yeah. I, like stealth. I can see stealth being pretty good on Dove. And I've got survival Ooh. on her. I mean, Dove doesn't die when I do No, battles, yeah, I that is an interesting combo. Here's my thoughts on this setup with Dove. I think it is a very good survivability setup. Absolutely insane. But how often does stealth actually proc? You probably don't even see your life all that much go below 30%. But when it does proc, instantly full life. Yeah, yeah that's going to be nice. Especially if you put some type of healing pet on Dove as well with that. i got to test that combo out, dude. That's nice. Now that, now that my boy's got all these heroes, it's like I can use his account to test things out. Because goodness gracious, yeah. what else we got? All right. Lavanica, we got Unholy Pact. Okay. With Survival. Oh, okay. Well, level 9 as well. Okay, I like to see that. That's the exact same setup that I run on my Lavanica. I like to see that. Cool. Next we got Cosmo. I love Cosmo. Oh, love Cosmo. He went with uh, Vigorous Fury as Cosmo's main talent, which 
honestly, I think Vigorous Fury has a lot of potential with Cosmo. I was reading up on it. I was like, eh, I don't know. I think you maybe should go a little bit more defensive on Cosmo. But the damage output with Cosmo could come on super strong Vigorous Fury. And that's what he said he liked best about it. So I've noticed a difference because I used to have, I think I might have had Sacred Light yeah. on your recommendation. Oh, okay. And I've noticed him doing more damage, especially in like arena and stuff like that. Definitely, I can. And he likes to play arena, so go with whatever. You know, that's the thing. With this day and age of Castle Clash, there's no correct talent, right? Back in the day, there was. Now there's like 40 talents in the game, and at least 10 of them are viable in a lot of different situations. So, I mean, for arena, Cosmo, Vigorous Fury, I can see that being pretty solid, especially with the survival. You got survival on her as a Yeah, I'm a big fan of survival. Yeah. I like my heroes staying alive. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. It is. It's nice. You know, for a whole three seconds, they take zero damage and gain all their life back. Can't get yeah. all with that. All right, who else do you got in there? After Cosmo, I got Anubis. Anubis, okay, Wicked I Armor. Wicked Armor. I did that based on Hero Spotlight. Yeah. I said Wicked Armor, and I've got him on Bigger Fury Bigger as well. Fury. Okay, raises his life. Not too bad. The only thing I don't really like about that is it only really procs when his life is above 45% HP with Anubis having three lives. His life normally goes pretty low, but, I mean, it ain't like the worst talent ever. It does raise his life by yeah. 120%. And, and if, I'm, crit rate. if I'm being real, I think the only reason that's there is because at the time, it was the only level 9 I had left. I got you. I, I got might you, have you. more level 9s now that I could replace it with. Got you. Um, after him, I'm not... I can't believe you already got level 9 insignias and all these heroes level 30. This is shocking to me, guys, because literally me and this guy have been best friends for forever. He's never been interested in mobile gaming, and then all of a sudden I got him on Castle Clash. <laughs> Next thing I know, he's literally a top player within the a... The struggle, man. Uh, for as long as I've been working with JT on his YouTube, he's like, you got to play the game, you got to play the game. And I'm just... <laughs> wasn't into it didn't want to play it and then the second we, we kind of had a talk one time I was like listen dude I need you to play this game I need I need help out here making more content I need you to understand what you're doing exactly so I started playing and like, like, it's, like it's, good, it's good it's a good game I'm, I'm addicted to the grind like I want my might yeah, yeah he wants to be the best boys he wants to be might. the best all right, so you, oh, you got Zephyrica. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. I guess so. I mean, 400,000 gems. How do you not have Zephyrica? Goodness yeah. gracious. That's I, insane. I went a little hard trying to get him. And just because, like, another thing. It's like kind of my OCD is that drive. I wanted every hero. So the second he was there, I was, like, feeling weird about not having him. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I had yeah. to go for it. I got you. I got you. That's good. Vigorous Fury. Solid talent on Zephyrica. I'm a huge fan of that talent. What do you use for an insignia on your Zephyrica? Survival, so, man. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart keep him alive. Yeah, survival's a Overall, good choice for Zephyrica, no doubt about that. Is that all six? I did one. So you got Zephyrica, Anubis, Cosmo. Yeah, okay, yeah, I did all six. Lavanica, Dove, and Walla. Yeah, I mean, I would say that's a pretty solid six. I mean, it's tough not seeing Lazulix in a lineup, but that is a really good solid six heroes, no doubt about that. All right, so what about the uh, other game modes? Have you set up for, oh, that's right, we're on my phone and not your phone, so you're not going to have any of your game mode teams set up. So your arena team, Lost Battlefield yeah, team, we'll you won't even be able to it's see It's always them. those six. Well, my Lost Battlefield, what I do, for Lost Battlefield, I have Zeph, Levanica, and Dover, like my three captains on each of my spots. Yep. Because I like those three. And then I'll just kind of fill in the last spots with my highest breakthrough 30s. That's smart. I don't yeah. know if I shared this information with you or not. I don't know if you figured it out on your own. But if you use in Lost Battlefield, you see how each of these heroes have a dif different warden to them? Yeah. So, for example, like, if you look at Minnow, you see that little green leaf? Yeah. That means he's an oracle hero. And like, same if you, with Levanica. Yeah, Levanica. same with Levanica. Okay, so if you put three out of your five heroes, whatever warden type, you then gain that warden strength. Right. Yeah. You notice that? I do know I should be doing that, and I probably haven't done that. Okay, well, yeah, I was just, it's not like mandatory, but sometimes those Warden do help, especially the uh, the Oracle Warden, because it silences heroes whenever you're fighting them. So yeah, I'm just going to scroll through this altar so we can see what all we got. We got a lot of heroes that break through level 20, pretty much all the Shard heroes stopped at 20, which is smart. Not a bad idea. We also got some heroes at level 10. Do you have any greens and blues? You do got greens and blues. They're all maxed. I have every hero in the altar that's available. Oh, everything. Every one of them. Oh, wow. And I've got them Besides the newest? Besides Occultist. Occultist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which we are going to make a rolling video on Occultist after this, so wish us luck. So you got all these. Okay, yeah, nice, dude. Nice, bro. You got all this stuff backs out. And what, dude? You have that many open altar slots with 900,000 might? So this is how many backup spots. So you have one of every single hero. Yeah. So after having one of every single hero, it looks like there's a total of 16 slots. So there's 89 heroes in Castle Clash now. 
That's crazy, bro. You already mapped it out. You're 100 percent sure you have every single. Hero I know I have every one. Um, <laughs> and I actually just asked JT today because I didn't know for sure. Because if you look at my warehouse, I have tons of dupes sitting in there. Tons of dupes, yeah. Duplicate heroes, and I was wondering if I should bother with them because will it give me more more might? And he said yes, it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That might be my, my next step. Uh, <laughs> but he's going to be a boost. He's going to be over a million might soon, dude. That is so insane, bro. So insane. Is there any any questions you had about the game or currently where you're at? Uh, uh, well, I've seen people at my level who are done with HBM. And I can't get past HBM AI because I always die on like the fifth wave. And I'm wondering if it's because of my setup, if there's something wrong about my setup. I think it's uh, it's probably your base, because I don't think your heroes are having trouble staying alive, or are they? I don't know. No, no, they never die. They never die? Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's all about your base setup. So the way it works is you got to set your base up to way where your buildings stay alive. Yeah. I can I'll talk with a couple of the top HBM players. Honestly, I've never really focused HBM in this game, but I need to personally set up an HBM base as well. So I'm going to talk to Look at my people. sides here. Get us a, uh, oh, one time, baby. We got one time in the hose. That is very nice. So, yeah, I mean, you guys can see where this account is at as for now. We're going to go ahead and end this video and start up a rowing session video. Hope you guys stay tuned and good luck for the new new. Peace out, fellas. Peace out, fellas. If my dog Mila catches this frisbee, you have to subscribe. <laughs> Are you ready, baby? Don't let daddy down, baby.